Hey guys, for today's video, we're gonna talk about my five favorite furry TV shows. Now, when I mean furry, they aren't exactly furry, but I mean like anthropomorphic characters that became popular in the fandom. And we're talking about why I like them and what I like most about them. This isn't me saying these are the best, these are just the personal ones that I like the most. The amazing style of the characters or the storyline, these are my top five favorite furry TV shows. Number five. Number five is Inuyasha for me. Now, I know it's not the most furry TV show, but to me, it was one of the first ones I remember as a kid. I remember watching this, and that's why I think I got some of my first love for the anthropomorphic style and a love for anime. I mean, I didn't watch too much of it as a kid, and I think this was honestly my, some of my first introduction into that style of TV. Some of the most fondest memories I remember watching with my best friend back in New York. It was really cute, and it was fun to watch, and it was, um, Always really fun storylines, over the top battles. I always get very giddy when I see some Inuyasha stuff pop up in my timeline. Number four, Wolf's Reign. Um, I had a friend introduce this to me and I just remember watching this and just being in love with the story and chronically depressed through the whole time. It was such like a powerful story. Watching the characters struggle so hard <laughs> and the turmoil they face, but it was nonetheless, it was a beautiful animation, a very cool storyline, a strong friendship bond, which I really loved. It was just an amazing show and I really enjoyed watching it, even if it didn't have the most favorable ending, it was still just a beautifully done series and I'll always continue to love rewatching them. Number three goes on the more lighter side of things and that's Agretsuko. I think everyone in the fandom kind of agreed last year that we all had a love for Haida and the characters. <laughs> you connect with all the characters, it was cool to see a strong female lead expressing herself and showing that she's not afraid to show another side of herself because of what men think and I think that is very important need to be more a commonality in female characters. Number two comes as no surprise is Beastars. I thought the animation style was so different and cool and you really kind of connect with Legacy and you're rooting for this character so much and what he wants but he's just so torn by his instincts and what other people think of him. It was a very interesting to me. It's not what I was expecting because I never read any of that. I know it came from from another um, series before it made it into an actual animation so it's just I had no idea what I was stepping into. It has that same kind of feel like almost from Zootopia. Feathers and Prey can never be together. Terrible conflict between the two. I can't wait to see more of it on Netflix as well. Let's be honest. Legacy is very hot. Number one is now a new obsession that's also on Netflix is BNA. I absolutely adore this like retro wave anime style. Like every character is so much in my taste of what I like to see in furry art. I love the fact that they can switch between their animal and human form. I think that's honestly every furry stream, let's be honest. It's sad and cool to see society of how beastmen and people work. I think that actually kind of be more realistic in today's world if beastmen were actually a real thing. That saddens you, but also gives that form of realism, how they separate them and this weird tension between species. It's just very cool to see how they would live in a modern day society as an animal person. It's funny, it was sad at times, it had really good fight scenes in it. I just really enjoyed watching it. I binge watched it in like two days. I can't wait for more of that. So if you guys have any more ones you think I should check out and want to post, Make sure to post them in the comments. I'm always wanting to expand my furry trash media. And as an honorable mention, because I think a lot of people would get upset if I didn't include them, Bluey. I think it is the one of the cutest kid series out there. Um, I adore the father character and it's just so cute and lighthearted. I like how short the episodes are because sometimes I have a mind like a guppy. The animation style is cute and I adore Australian accents. So that's just a big plus to it too. Definitely has to be an honorable mention. So yeah, those are my five favorite furry themed um, TV shows, indulging in my uh, furry trash lifestyle. And like I said, if you have any really good ones you think I should check out or you want to share, make sure you post them in the comments below. I'd love to check them out. Always looking to expand my furry watch list and find new stuff to binge watch. <laughs> Thanks again for stopping by and watching this video. If you like these videos, like what I do, make sure to like, subscribe, and tell me what you'd like to hear from me next. I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys!